I'm still here. I'm still alive. And I'm still trying. And that has basically been enough to occupy everything. I'm posting for the benefit of my many fans. <laughs> because it's been almost two weeks since I put something up. Although, to be fair, I posted one or two, or attempted to, within that time. And either there was a technical glitch or YouTube didn't like my content. Considering that there is a lot of room for all kinds of content here on YouTube, I'm going to say it was probably a technical glitch. To tell the truth, I really need to digitally declutter. I've got a heck of a lot of videos that need to be backed up and taken off of this phone that I purposely bought because of the gigantic storage space. What does any of that have to do with bipolar disorder and living and thriving with that? Well, you know, I love to make a metaphor out of just about anything. And I would say that the need to slow down, the need to defragment, I used to use that term a lot when it comes to the brain, the need to clear out space for the new. It applies every bit as much to our physical environment as to our physical bodies and our minds and spirits. And for me, they're more or less inseparable. And as I've grown older and grown my family, I realize more and more just how intricately and intimately and inextricably connected my physical environment and my mental state are. And because hashtag adulting is hard, ADHD, didn't get that diagnosis till I was a grown up. Not re not excuses, but explanations for why it's taking me extra, extra long time to figure out this adulting thing. Um, and so here I am just checking in and being human and vulnerable and I don't really have a lot of words of wisdom or pro tips right now besides um, I guess if there's one lesson that I could take away from the last two weeks Actually, there was a couple. One of them I posted about and it didn't make it up there. A couple others I started recording and my camera cut me off. So, anyway, lessons. I just found a crayon in my hair. <laughs> so random. Is there a lesson there? Hmm, just pulling the ideas out of my head. Or maybe I just have a toddler. <sighs> I had to pause because I totally lost my train of thought from this. <laughs> Waxy Gran. Um, oh my gosh. Sleep. That is basically my biggest lesson from the last two weeks, and it's it's after midnight, so I might actually turn into a pumpkin. There is no substitute for sleep, period. Exclamation point. Multiple exclamation points. I know I have some videos on here about little life hacks, you know, when you're tired and just need something to help you wake up and I stand by those but not as a substitute for you know your seven to eight hours of sleep 
or whatever your body needs might be more hopefully not much less I see I was getting by on like six hours for too long and then it was it was you know what my sleep schedule was getting more and more delayed I was starting to have to wake up in the mornings and just feeling like a huddle and doing all of those little hacks just not a substitute for getting a good night's sleep and catching up having some nights where I slept really well it's like just being a brand new person so I don't know if everyone gets that way when they don't get enough sleep and that's one of the things that I consider to be a gift of my condition is that I think I am extra sensitive to it so while that means in the short run I might suffer extra if I have uh, some sleepless nights in the long run it means that I am going to prioritize sleep not because like some health expert tells me I should but because I am just going to pretty much suck at life and not be even at all happy most of the time. And just have all these weird symptoms, physical and mental, if I don't get my sleep. So I'm going to get my damn sleep because I have a quick feedback loop. <sighs> okay. I have a smart light that I programmed to do something and it just did that and I guess if I'm gonna leave with any other pro tip it's um, man we have so many smart devices now and if you struggle to regulate your own biological clock like I sometimes do which I tend to think is part of being bipolar and maybe ADHD having those little external cues the light that just automatically dims or turns off at a certain time it's a major and it can be a big undertaking so being patient with myself and saying I'm doing progress not perfection is a beautiful thing so Thanks for listening. I'm still alive. I'm still here. And I'm definitely still trying. Um, comment on what's going on with you. And I do still have some really exciting news coming soon. But not yet. So stay tuned. Take care of yourselves first. So you can take care of each other. Be well. Bye bye.